Welcome to summer in the Victorian high country and camper trailer of the year 2023, sponsored by the Power of Red Arc. Now this year, we've got eight fantastic campers, including a revamped and rejigged Ultimate. Now this Ultimate was a winner in 2021, but this year, it's come back with a heap more fruit. Let's check it out. Whew, I am happy to be out of that river and that rain, but I'll tell you what, I would much rather be inside the Ultimate. The comfort of that mattress, triple layer, unbeatable. The layout, really user friendly, and the amount of space around the dinette and the ease of use in the kitchen, big ticks from me. Now setting up the Ultimate, you can now do it single handed. The guys have reinvented the way the poles go into the camper to hold out the awning, and with an electric actuator, it's really, really easy to do. Now, it'll take about three to five minutes, perhaps 10 if you start picking things out. So it's still relatively quick. In the last five years, Ultimate have really grown from strength to strength. And that's really thanks to the relentless focus on detail of owner David Rogers, including engineering and continuous improvement. When we first saw Ultimate at Camper Trailer of the Year 2020, it blew us away with over 80 modifications that had been made to the model since David had taken over. It was the same in 2021 with the introduction of the 24 volt Vitron system. That was a real game changer. And quite honestly, they're impressing again this year. We didn't think that David could do anything better when it comes to batteries. But in this model of the Ultimate, we've now got 15 kilowatts of usable power. The way he's done this is by using two 7.5 kilowatt batteries that are run in parallel and each battery's BMS is monitored. With 15 kilowatts, it's been estimated that you could run the air conditioner for 15 hours, which is just astounding. One thing that David introduced to us this year was the fact that the roof was now rated to 200 kilos. And with two hefty hinges attached on either side, you can now lift the lid with up to 100 kilos remaining in place. One detail I really like for ease of use are the small cords on the bungees that help hold the canvas tight. You can now grab them with one hand and easily clip them on. When it comes to solar, David uses three 200 watt Red Arc solar panels run in series, which we witnessed produce 541 watts of power. Ultimates got their name for their ability off-road, huge clearance, narrow bodies, short overhangs, and not too bad total height. Now this one towed exceptionally well behind a late model Hilux. You could get away with a much smaller, much cheaper car, but you want to go off-road with an Ultimate, so you'll likely want a good four-wheel drive, either ute or SUV. Part of the reason why the Ultimate's so good off-road is the XT Air suspension that's been optioned onto it. Now you can go with standard coils, but the benefit of the Air is leveling it at a campsite easily, leveling it for an uneven load, and also for the ability of the holding tank to be used to inflate tires quickly and easily. The last detail I really liked in the underside of the Ultimate was seeing disc brakes. Now it is possibly overkill for such a light camper, but they grip so quickly, it's fantastic. And if you hit the override button, you can actually lock them up or at least get a lot more control than traditional drums would give you. The dual pack paint is supported by a polyurea coating that goes around the, the waist and around the nose cone to protect the paint. On top of that, there's a UV protectant to make sure that the luster doesn't fade over the years. Underneath, as usual, there is virtually nothing to see other than the chip protector to make sure that the underside receives the protection it needs as you head off onto those, those rough outdoor roads. When it comes to quality of finish, with carbon fiber bench tops, triple layer king size mattress, a combo hot water and heater system, and of course, air conditioning. This is something that David takes very seriously. Overall, I was blown away with the Ultimate. It is 120 grand, which is a big pill to swallow. But if you break it down, it comes with everything a big caravan at the similar price would probably give you. The difference being, the Ultimate is small, it's nimble, it'll go everywhere you want. I've always really loved the Ultimate, and the Ultimate Escape is exactly the sort of camper that I could see myself in in a few years' time, as it gives you that caravan-level comfort, but still remaining 
really nimble, really agile, really able to get into the, some of those uh, faraway places. Money no objects, the ultimate escape would have to be the one to have. Its specs are unparalleled, its nimbleness and its massive ground clearance suits the style of driving I do. It ticks all the boxes.